Hey guys, Alton here from Microgrinder Poker School, and in today's video, I'm going to do a short Q&A session so you get to learn a bit more about me and my poker background. So enjoy. I hope you like today's video. Let's go ahead and let's get into it. So I really got into poker and Texas Hold'em back in 2003 when I saw Moneymaker on ESPN winning the main event of the WSOP. I really didn't pay any attention to poker before that, but when I saw him win, it just lit a spark in me and I figured, well, if he could do it, I could do it. So me and my buddy, we embarked on this huge journey of getting into poker and this idea that we would become pros and become millionaires ourselves. Well, that didn't materialize, but it did materialize into us building our own custom poker table, hosting home games at my parents' house every weekend, inviting all my cousins, inviting a bunch of friends and family members, and hosting this microstakes cash game where we'd all buy in for around five or 10 bucks, and we'd just be off chips left and right, really not knowing much of what we were doing. Um, but that was the start. That was the start of me getting into poker about 15 years ago. Well, I don't have too much time to play as much as I'd like. Um, I used to play a lot of poker in the card rooms um, back in the early 2000s. When I was an undergrad, I would play a lot of limit in the card rooms because that was really the main game. Um, but nowadays, running my career poker school, working full time and everything else and where I live with the closest card rooms being about 40 minutes from me, you're really only going to see me playing online. And typically when I play, it's to produce content for my career at poker school. Um, and I'm typically going to be playing on the American sites that are available to me that I have money on. And that would be Ignition Casino Poker and also Global Poker right now. So I started to think that I was taking poker seriously right after I saw Moneymaker win the main event. But in all reality, I was a fish. Um, I picked up some books. Back then in 2003, we didn't have the resources that we have now. But I remember picking up Dale Brunson's book and Phil Helmuth's book and reading those and thinking that I was a pro and that I was going to crush everybody. Yeah, I did good in my home games, but when I went to the casinos, I just got annihilated because I really didn't have a clue what I was doing. But over the years, I kind of progressed in my game. I picked up some more books. Um, and I improved my game and when I was an undergrad I would grind the limit games in the card rooms uh, makes a little extra side income and then after graduating I would ground uh, sit and goes for quite some time and then after grad school I think that's really when I really got serious about the game so after I graduated from grad school I decided you know what Let's get back into poker because it had been a bit of a long hiatus and I missed it. Um, I missed the fun of playing with family members and friends and I really wanted to get into playing online as well. So I signed up for sites such as Grinder School, Runner Once, Deuces Cracked, Ivy League and so forth. Um, I bought a bunch of books and looking at my, um, my bookshelf right now I have a whole bunch of poker books and that's really when I, I got into the game seriously i uh i got coaching i got one-on-one -on -one coaching um and it really was this was the beginning of microgrinder poker school um i was on two plus two and sent out a request to start up a study group and that's how microgrinder started as a study group so i would really say um after graduate school is when i really took poker super seriously and really got into the game so my proudest poker achievements all revolve around Microgrinder Poker School. My achievements on the table, my biggest winnings, my biggest tournament takedowns, all that, they're really not that important to me. In fact, I just play the micro stakes, so I really don't care and I don't focus on those as much. So while some other grinders and poker players, some serious poker players, they may focus on their achievements on the table, mine really evolve around the success and the ability to help people with micro grinder poker school. I really love the fact and I'm really proud of the fact that from the beginning, our micro grinder poker school started off as a micro stakes study group. We started as a Skype study group. We had our own private little forum and expanded from there where Paul and I, Paul's been here with me since the beginning, where we were creating free strategy articles and free training videos that we were posting on our website and YouTube to the point where several years later, 
We are a respected microstakes training site and we have 20 plus courses, 650 plus videos where we're helping lots of people succeed and me personally writing numerous poker books where some of them are best sellers and they have been for quite some time. So just seeing all that really is my proudest poker achievements and, and seeing that Paul and I from the beginning where we took Micro Grand and Poker School from the ground up and Paul actually built his own brand as well where we've been able to help so many students in this poker training niche. So Micro Grand and Poker School is really my platform to start helping and coaching others and I would say that I started getting into coaching when my game progressed to the point where I was producing training videos myself, started producing courses myself, and students were asking if I provided coaching. I don't really provide coaching anymore, but I have in the past when I have time. I have done some one-on-one -on -one coaching here and there with a handful of students, but I typically don't do it that much simply just because it takes up so much time. Um, but in terms of coaching, that really is how I got into the coaching was through Microgrinder Poker School, and it really has been my platform to get into coaching. So in terms of my coaching specialty, I would say that my specialty is to focus on the fundamentals and to help students understand the basic fundamental strategies of the game, as well as turning them into something I call our thinking poker players. And when I, when I talk about thinking poker players, I talk about students need to understand specifically why they're doing something in every specific situation and understanding all the different variables that go into those decisions and understanding the fundamental strategies and fundamental topics that go into that decisions as well. I'm not the type of coach that's going to take you up to 100 nl or 200 nl and beyond like Paul or George might be able to do with our students. I'm the type of coach that's going to help somebody struggling at 2NL or 5NL and 10NL to get them from a losing or break-even player to a winning player at the micro stakes where they're going to have a strong understanding of all the fundamentals, where they're going to turn themselves into a thinking poker player that understands why they're doing something and not just being told that they need to do X, Y, and Z by a poker coach and telling them you need to see bet on this board texture, you need to do this, you need to three bet this range. I'm not that. I'm not going to tell them that. I'm going to tell them why they need to do this and help them understand why they're doing something. So that's really my coaching specialty. So my primary goal in providing coaching, and since I'm not doing one-on-one -on -one coaching, I'm really going to talk about it from the perspective of Microgrinder Poker School. So in terms of us providing poker coaching services and poker coaching and poker training in general, whether you take a one-on-one -on -one session with um, Paul, myself, or George, or you're watching our courses, is to help people move from being a struggling or beginning micro stakes poker player to the point where they're a solid winning poker player and they understand what they're doing at the table. Um, we're not a training site that's going to take you up to crush 200 nl and so forth at the low stakes and the mid stakes and the high stakes and so forth. We focus on taking people that really are recreational players that, that play for fun. Um, some want to play for a side income, some want to have a, the lofty goals of moving up in stakes and using poker as an income. But really, we want to focus on helping those people, that demographics of people, to help them improve and to help them become a better poker player. Where number one, where they're not only winning, but number two, they're also enjoying the game. And it gives them options in terms of if they want to move up or not, or if they just want to grind these games for fun. Yes, I definitely have a professional career outside of poker. So in addition to running Microgrinder Poker School and doing poker coaching, I also work full time in cybersecurity. So I've been working in cybersecurity ever since I graduated from graduate school. Um, so we're going on roughly close to, I'd say, eight and a half to nine years now working in cybersecurity. And really, my focus is not operational cybersecurity, but I'm more so in the policy and the business side of the house and risk management side of the house, having an MBA with a concentration in information insurance and security management, and also a master's in information technology management as well. So that's my professional career in terms of my full-time job, in addition to running Microgrinder Poker School on the side. And then also in addition to teaching 
poker related topics i also have it training courses as well and in 2019 i'm actually looking to launch my own it training school as well so i have lofty goals um, i really love to teach i, I have a passion for teaching um, and that's really how microguider poker school got started um, and i've taught in the past i've taught as an adjunct at a university in the past and that's kind of my my long-term goal is to be able to teach and, and maybe as a post-retirement gig when i get older to have an adjunct professor teaching gig again in the future so favorite hobbies outside of the poker well i don't have as many as i used to in the past um, working full-time running this business this business actually is my hobby um, and even though it's a poker school in terms of having that hobby outside of poker um, I have a hobby in terms of, of learning numerous different things in terms of running my own business and being an entrepreneur understanding internet marketing copywriting um, SEO and all those different things it's exciting it's fun um, it's enjoyable to me so i enjoy doing all that stuff uh, in addition to to just dealing everything with the school um, and also working full time outside of that um, i like mountain biking when i want to have the time to go with my buddies which is not as often as i like um, i like health and fitness we have our own home gym and i'm really just starting to actually get back into um, fitness and getting a different type of training where I'm really focusing on mobility and functional um, fitness as well. So I'm starting to get into that and I really like that as well. And in the winter, I like to snowboard as well. Um, but overall, um, being 42, being married, working full time um, and, and also running this business, I don't have as much time as I'd like for all my different hobbies. There's lots of things I'd like to do, but unfortunately, I don't get a chance to do as many things as I'd like. So my favorite thing about poker is it's not the money. I play the micro stakes. Yeah, the money is nice when you're playing the higher echelons of the micro stakes and winning some money. But my favorite thing about poker the, is what I found when I really first got into the game. And the thing that I enjoyed the most was the social aspect of having home games and really how it brought everybody together in my family uh, and all my close friends as well. And we kind of became an extended poker family and that's really what I, I really enjoyed the most I, I love the camaraderie I love the challenge I, I love the enjoyment of getting together with others and having a good time and, and just you know messing around the poker table joking with uh, with others um, you know, playing crazy sometimes playing these crazy poker games and everything else and that's really what I enjoy the most about poker in terms of online poker I enjoy the challenge I enjoy the strategy I, I enjoy the depth of the game right on the top it looks like you know a very basic game from an outsider's perspective right um, but underneath there's just so much to it it's so complex it's so dynamic and it's constantly evolving um, so I enjoy that as well in terms of running micro grinder poker school and being a poker coach um, but I'd say first and foremost I really enjoy the social aspect of the game well, I hope that you guys liked today's video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Now, if you guys are interested in getting started with Microgrinder Poker School, you can enroll in our monthly subscription plan for as little as $1. Yep, only $1. Just click that link down below to get started. And I'll see you guys at our next video. Take care and have an awesome day.